Hello, welcome to tonight's episode of Hypnotist Bernie's Exposition. Joining us tonight is Elizabeth. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Elizabeth came all the way from Florida, right? Yes. Oh, wow. Stewart, Florida. Stewart, Florida. Where around is that from? Stewart is on the east coast of Florida, just above West Palm Beach. Okay. Have you been living there all your life? No. No. Actually, <laughs> where are you I, from originally? Originally, Texas. Oh wow. Texas, then New York, then oh wow, Florida. Yeah. New York. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. My son went to school right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, to be so, you. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good place. Yeah. Good to be back. Yeah. Um, so you are a theta healer. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Theta healer. Okay. Theta like the brainwave. T H E T A. Okay. So. Could you tell us about? Um, what you practice? Sure. First of all, about 10 years ago, I became a hypnotherapist. So I learned about the importance of keeping things clear and healthy at the subconscious level. And then I learned NLP, the Neuro Linguistic Programming, and right. more tools. And okay. I kept thinking that there had to be a way to do things even quicker. And okay. there were some things I still couldn't accomplish with people. Right. So I kind of kept putting it out there. You know, I know it's there, and finally uh, along came a book on Theta Healing that I read. I'd been hearing okay. about it, and it is just, I'm so passionate about it. It's oh, one wow. of the most incredible modalities. Oh, wow. I, I do the same things in terms of trying to get to the subconscious mm -hmm. and make changes for people to become healthier and happier and more productive, but it's a different way of getting there. So, um, could you tell us what is theta healing? So, theta healing, if, if you think about hypnosis that your viewers are accustomed to seeing, there's a client okay. and there's the practitioner or the okay. hypnotist. With theta healing, there's the client, there's the practitioner, and then there is this energy. Okay. The energy of the universe. The, okay. we, some people want to call it God, some people say the universe. Uh, we can say the energy that moves in all things. Okay. Okay. And we're, so that's the third party, or actually maybe the first party okay. to all of this. So I'm not actually making changes within you, and you're not, if you were my client, you're not actually having to do anything other than say, yes, I'd like that change. Okay. And it's the, it's working with the energy of creation or the universe that actually makes the change happen, and it's very, very rapid. It's, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. It's uh, very loving. Okay. Could you tell us more about this energy? Well, <laughs> <laughs> briefly about the energy. Well, some people call it God. Okay. Some people call it the universe. Okay. In Theta Healing, quite frequently, we use the term creator. Okay. Because that's kind of neutral. Okay. Uh, when I was doing Theta Healing in uh, Lebanon, I thought, well, do I need to call it Allah? And I was told, not unless I'm speaking Arabic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't, trust me. Okay. So it was God. Okay. And it really, I will ask the client, you know, I, I will say, I'm working with this energy okay. that creates life, that gives, that animates life, the energy that, that gives you your life, my life, the plant, its life. What would you like me to call it? So if I was working with you, what would I, what, what term would you want me to use? Um. It's all good. Um, it's all good. You're right. It's all good. Pick one. Um, we can use the universe. The universe. Okay. Before I go into that, do you, do you sure. need to believe good in question. a God good question. or the universe? Very good question. Right. The practitioner needs to believe that there is something there that animates life. Okay. That is greater than oneself. Okay. We also get to the point we hope we get to the point that we we all know that we are that force. Okay. You are, I am, right. everyone listening is. Right. So you're working with the totality of that right. force. Right. So is it bent to one? But the, the client doesn't have to believe. Okay. They just have to go, yeah, sure, make that change. That's okay by me. Okay. Okay. Does, does, do they need to know? Could you just go around the street and bend people? And no, energy, yeah. you can't just go do it to people. It takes your permission. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, Could it would be. Can you trick people into giving permission? Can you trick people into giving permission? I should certainly hope we wouldn't do <laughs> such a thing. If you did, I don't. It doesn't really work. Your okay. uh, your subconscious is your protector. Okay. So unless you 
are saying, yes, okay. I want that change, the subconscious is going to go, my master did not approve this. Okay. Go away. Okay. Okay. So in a way, it is my unconscious mind, subconscious mind connecting to an intermediary, and that intermediary connected back to you. Um, I'm not sure if you so, were the, so, if you were the so, theta healer because right. as a theta healer, what happens is so when I does go. So change in, happen? Does have change in you, okay. in the universe, or in the person? Okay, good questions. <laughs> <laughs> Great questions. Thank you. Okay. Well, any time we make a change with ourselves, it changes something in the universe, right? Because we're it's all true. a part of that. Right. But the, the process is for me to go into the theta state. Right. And then I basically, we just say go up. Because it, there's a visualization. Okay. In fact, at the very end of all this, I want to take everybody who's listening through that visualization. Now, right. I do it in a matter of seconds. Right. But there is what we call the road map. And it, it's a little more, you know, you just go you're, you're imagining that you're taking your energy up out of yourself and going to the all that is, that right. encompasses you, me, and everything. Right. And I'm placing an order for you. As a practitioner, I'm placing right. an order for you. So if you had something that you wanted to have changed, I would say, for Bernie, change this to this. Then I'll say, thank you. Show me. Then I witness it. So I'm not making the changes, okay? The, ener that, the energy, the universe, and right. in your case, the universe is making the changes. Right. So I go up, I, I put in the order for the change, and then I say, thank you, show me, and I step back, but still in trance, still in the theta state, because I'm the one that goes into trance, not right. you. Okay. I witness it, right. and then I come back. Now, how do we know that it changed? Right. Well, That's a good question. one of the first things we do to find out what you've got going on is we do some muscle testing. Okay. So you may muscle test for a belief that would be a really good belief to have, and you may muscle test that, no, you don't have that okay. belief. So then I go make the change, and I come back, and we test again, okay. and your muscle testing will show that, yes, you have that. Is there something the client can do to help vibrating? So I'm guessing that you doesn't have to be at the same level of energy while you're doing it, right? Right. But is there is there some is there something that the client could do to accelerate this process? You know, we found that if the client is relaxed and even if the client actually is entrained into the theta state while right. While we are it'll sometimes in train the client okay. that that changes are a little more rapid, okay. but really we can do this at a distance. You could you could ask me to do something for you. I could say sure. Right. Then you might be on your lunch break somewhere, and and I'm doing the work, and you'll still get it. Okay. 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 But it's just more fun if you, as the client, also get to relax a little bit. That's great. Yeah. So why don't you have a demonstration? Perfect. Um. So so. Pretend I'm your client walking in your office right now. Okay. Um, what, what do I need to do to, to get this done? Well, let's say you came to me because you had something that you wanted to, to improve okay. upon or to change. Right. The first thing I'm going to do is ask you, what is it that you would like to change? Um, so me and Elizabeth have never met before. <laughs> <laughs> never. never. Mm. We never talk or nothing. No. Yes. Um, so... Um, <laughs> So for those of you who don't know me personally, I have been doing day trading um, at night. I've been trading the London market. So, you know, it's wow. been up and down. And I would like to uh, be more comfortable with money. Be more comfortable with money. Right. Okay. Would you like to make more too? Yeah. <laughs> would you That's like... What I meant. <laughs> the euphemism was be comfortable. We have to get really to the okay. nitty gritty of this. I want to make you want to... million. Dollars. That's, okay. That's what I want. Okay. Yes. And are you close? No. Okay, so we have some work to do. <laughs> okay. So once you make this money, would you also like to kind of keep some of it? Not have it all just go right through your fingers? Yeah, that would, that would be great. Okay. Yes. See, as a, as a practitioner, then I have to think of all these angles. Okay. Because if I just helped you make money and not keep That's money, then I haven't really helped you at all. That's true. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is some muscle testing. So okay. I'd like to demonstrate that. So can I use your right hand? Sure. That's this one. Okay. <laughs> so can and, see this? Yes. Yeah. So make a circle with your 
pointer finger and your thumb. Okay. Now here's the, the theory behind it, and I'm just going to be pulling on your fingers to okay. pull them apart. The theory is, you know, your mind controls your brain, right. your brain controls your body. Right. Your mind is 90% at least right. subconscious. Right. So if you tell a lie right. or you say something that makes you feel bad, your body is weaker and your right. muscle test will show that. Right. If you say something that's true or something that makes you feel good, your hand it will be stronger. And when I say true or not true, what right. I mean is if you say something that your subconscious believes right. and agrees with mm -hmm. or that your subconscious disagrees with, right. because you may not know, you may be very surprised at what your subconscious is actually thinking. Right. So we go by what your hand shows, right. not by what you tell me. Right. Oh, yeah, I definitely believe yeah. that. And then... <laughs> Boom, it'll open right. and show that no, not 90% of you doesn't believe it. So that's okay. that's what this is about. So let's just do a little calibrating. Okay. And would you say my, and I think I want you to use your full name. Just say full my name, name is okay. Bernard. My name is Bernard. And press and hold those fingers. Oh, it is. Okay. Very oh, good. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now let's just say my name is Mary. My name is Mary. Press and hold. And he come open. And you're working oh. really hard at that. Okay. Yeah, that's my Friday night name. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I won't ask you on a Friday night. We'll, we'll know it's Mary on a Friday night. Okay, all righty. So let's just check and see if, because Theta Healing, right. just pause for a second. Okay. Theta Healing is going to, we, when you did a muscle test there, right. you're testing what your subconscious believes, but you don't know where that came from. Right. It could come from a past life. It could come from your ancestors and be a genetic memory. It could be things that you learned as a child right. okay and it could have even gone all the way down into the what we call the soul level okay so I just test it and see if it's there I don't really care where it came from okay okay but that's why when you have this don't be surprised what you find okay. you know, when, we, when we test things so let's just try this this is usually a past life thing but okay. let's try it say I have a vow of poverty I have a vow of poverty there you go oh you do <laughs> Okay. Now that'll get in the way, won't okay, it? Yes. Okay, so we want to change that. So what you have in Theta Healing terms is I have a vow of poverty, yes. Okay. And we want to change it to I have a vow of poverty, no. Okay. All right? Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to go into the Theta state with the intent of connecting to the energy of all that is. Put right. in the order, witness it, and come back, and then right. we'll test again. Okay. All right. Now, all it looks like is me sitting here with my eyelids fluttering. It's okay. not very interesting, but I'll be quick. What should I do to, to help? Entertain the public. Now, it takes me a little longer the first time I go into someone's energy. It should okay. be quicker. And I could have changed a few things while I was there, but we only okay. tested one. Okay. Okay, so let's just try it out again and okay. see. So just give me the word yes and press and hold your fingers just yes. to recalibrate. Okay, and say no. No. Okay, because no is that negative okay. feeling. Say, I have a vow of poverty. I have a vow of poverty. Press and hold. Oops, you're still holding it. Okay. Now, what that means is that you have some other beliefs that are holding that in there. Okay. All right. So let's try the, the big one. Say, because um, sometimes this happens. If you have different beliefs, usually I'll do a few together, and they help each other clear. Okay. Um, let's say money is the root of all evil. Money is the root of all evil. Let's see if you have that. Oh, you have that one. Now, see. I'm liberal. This is old, but that okay. would hold the other belief. So we change this one, the other one will go. Okay. Let's say, now, you chose the word the universe instead okay. of God, for instance. Right. So theta healing has nothing to do with religion. Okay. But a lot of our beliefs, and they may be from a past life, they may be from our ancestors, a lot of beliefs that we hold in our subconscious that affect us on a daily basis are based upon old things we've learned from religion, right. whether it was a child or... Uh, or as a child, or from our ancestors, or whatever. So let's just see if you're holding this old religious belief okay. that will also get in your way. And okay. that would be, it's harder for a rich person to get into heaven okay. 
Say that. It is harder for the rich person to get into heaven. Press and hold. You have that belief. Okay. So do you see how those two beliefs, if you held those, the, the vow of poverty isn't really going to go away because it was kind of a bad thing to have money and it was right. going to make you go, you know, not right. to heaven. Bad stuff. Right. So let's see what else I can find and, and clear for you. Right. Um, let's see. Well, actually, I'm just going to do those three right now. Okay. I think move, doing those three together okay. is going to be good. And while I'm there, I'll just ask if there's anything else I need to okay. do. And I'll get a little message sometimes. Sure. Okay. Sometimes. That's good. Okay. All right. Very good. Entertain. <laughs> Okay. Now, there's one that I want to ask you that I kind of heard. So, let's do yes. Okay. Say yes. yes. Say no. No. And say this. Now, this is a little bit personal. I hope that's okay. Um, it's just a, a general sure. belief that a lot let's of people need it. to yes. check. It is wrong for me to make more money than my parents. It's wrong for me to make more money than my parents. Press and hold. Okay. You don't have it. That's okay. good. Now, let's just see what happened to the rest of it. Okay. Um, I have a vow of poverty. I have a vow of poverty. Nope. Okay. You don't have to push that hard to because then okay. I, the thing is, if you've got to no, know, I will be able to get it open. Okay. But the harder you push, the harder I have to pull. Okay. If you have a yes, I will not be able to get it open. Okay. Even if you're not pushing that hard. Okay. I can pull as hard as I want and the yes is not going to open. Okay. You can push as hard as you want and a no will not stay closed. Okay. But that's a lot of work for both of us. So. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll okay. Chill out. <laughs> okay, so the other one was uh, money is the root of all money, evil. Money is the root of all evil. Whoop, you opened. Okay. Very good. Okay, you're still fighting it, okay, but that's sorry. okay. Uh, and it's harder for a rich person to get into heaven. It's harder for a rich person to get into heaven. No. Okay. okay. Oh, wow. Very good. Now, those are three big, big things. Right. That, that, now, if we were doing a session together, I would look into even more because I, there's one quick thing I'll do before we go okay. to the meditation, sure. and that is to download okay. something because oh, that's well, the other thing great. we can do. We can download feelings, and this will only take a moment. So what would I like to download for you that would help you? How about just what it feels like to be confident in all of your trading, to really be able to listen right. uh, okay. without fear, to really okay. be able to focus without fear when you're yes, doing your trading? that would help. Okay. Tremendously. Good. And you'll kind of, you might notice uh, something. You'll just really notice okay. it when you go to trade the next time. Okay. Like yeah. tonight, I Definitely, guess. Definitely, yeah. Okay, and that was just a down, I mean, you can't okay. see anything, but, and we, we didn't muscle test to see if you had right. that feeling, so muscle testing now. Is I see you were really, like, tranced out, like your eyelids were fluttering. My eyelids flutter were, because were I go to the theta state. Right. And, yeah, that's wow. what that's about. Now, that when I go to the theta state, because I've got practice, I go okay. really quickly. But what I would love to do right. is the meditation that you learn when you're learning to do theta healing, because right. anybody can do theta healing. Right. And, and it'll take you and anybody else that wants to go along with it all the way up to that energy. Right. And then if we move along, right. we'll, we'll okay. get to do something so there. So Beth is about to uh, do a demonstration mm -hmm. for the rest of you. So whoever went to that. Hopefully for the people who are watching this right now, you're in for a treat. Um, Beth is going to walk you through a meditation session. Right. When she is... Uh, it's about six what, minutes. Okay. And uh, what were you going to do? Uh, what is it that you're about to do? I'm going to walk you through where what I do. Okay. But I do it like that, but I'll give you about six minutes to do it, to get all the way okay. into the theta state right. and connect it to that energy of all that right. is, and then we'll play a little bit and, when we're there. And everybody we to uh, welcome to participate. Yes. Is watching this all as right. much as you want. All right, go <laughs> right. For it. all right, so just go ahead and take a breath, close your eyes, and just center your energy in your heart. 
just center your energy and your focus in that part of your heart that's very peaceful and calm. And then imagine sending that energy all the way down through your feet, down into the center of Mother Earth. And allow that energy with gratitude just to be charged up and brought back up. Begin pulling it back up through your feet. And imagine that energy just moving up through the center of your body. If you know your chakras, you might imagine it charging those up as it moves up. And then imagine that energy going all the way up to the crown of your head. And then let that energy continue moving just above the crown of your head into a beautiful ball of light. And just notice that ball of light. You might even feel some pressure on the crown of your head from that ball of light. Good. Very good. And then take your entire consciousness and just step into that ball of light. And there you are. And that ball of light immediately begins to zoom out through the stars. It's lifting you out away from the body, out through the stars. And then beyond the stars, through layers of brilliant, bright light. And then imagine you're going through a layer of, a really broad layer of gold light, beautiful gold light. And as you leave that layer of gold light going higher still, you enter into a layer of a jelly-like substance. And as you begin, your ball moves you through that jelly-like substance. You can feel that little bit of drag there. All around you, colors and shapes are just swirling all around you. These are the laws of the universe. And you just continue moving on through. Moving into a beautiful pink haze, like a, a pink fog. You move right into it. Very good. This is the law of compassion, so it probably feels pretty good. And in the middle of this, or in the midst of this pink haze, notice a doorway, an opening. And through that door, notice the most brilliant, bright, sparkly, iridescent white light you've ever imagined. And as soon as you notice it, your ball of light just zooms through that doorway and into that sparkly, tingly, iridescent white light. And this is the energy of pure love. This is the essence of all that is. Within each one of your cells is a spark of this light. Because you were made from this, your life comes from this. It feels like home. And just for a moment, Imagine that your cells kind of loosen up and that that sparkly, tingly light can just bathe every cell in your body, moving around and through. And a lot of healing can happen here. Just enjoy. Good. And then kind of bring yourself back together, noticing that you are yourself not so loosened up. And just for a moment, because we do have the time, just imagine that you can hand over to this energy, the universe, whatever you wish to call, that you can hand over things that you are absolutely done with. Just give them back over. If you can just take it from yourself, hand it over, watch it just turn into more of that sparkly, tingly, iridescent white light. It was only just energy in the first place. And when you've handed over as much as you have had time to, and you can always go back and do this again, then just go ahead and take a moment to bring in things you're ready for. As you just open your arms to it and let it come into your life. Good. And then it's time to return. So you can imagine going back into that ball of light as it swiftly brings you back over the crown of your head. And your energy returns to the body. Once more going down through the feet, down into the earth, 
touching base with Mother Earth, just for grounding. And right away you bring that energy back up through the feet, all the way up through the body, and this time you let it stop at the crown of your head, all nice and energized and balanced, and bring yourself back to the room. How is that? That was great. That you was like great. that? I really like that part when you say whenever you're done with the the energy, mm-hmm. give it back to the universe. Right. What is the rationale behind that? That it's only energy to begin with. You know, we as humans put a spin on things. Great. But it it's just energy. Your thoughts, your emotions, whatever's bad, whatever's good, it's all just energy. So right. you let it transmute. Right. And for the people who follow along with this experience, um, what could they expect? to change in their life? That's so individual. Oh, or what, what would the change feel like? It could feel like a relief, okay. you know, like a big breath suddenly, or right. just feeling like a weight is lifted off the, the shoulders. It's going to be so different for different people. And sometimes you make a change and you you don't even notice it until a new si- a situation comes up and you realize, oh, I didn't feel the same way this time. I didn't get angry or right. I was less afraid or whatever. So for the people who will be visiting your office, they will get the both the what you demonstrated earlier. Yes. And also a hypnosis session that, that comes out. You know, sometimes I do hypnosis, sometimes I do theta healing, sometimes I and NLP. Sometimes compatible? I combine them. They're okay. perfectly compatible. That's great. When I want to make a lot of changes in a short period of time, I go straight to the theta healing. Oh, but then okay. I so love that's your to, preference. Of, um, to, of if somebody that. comes in and says, my life is a train wreck, as okay. one of my clients recently said, I know I'm going to do theta healing, but they right. want to stop smoking, they're probably going to get all three. Okay. That's so, great. Um, and, and it can be by phone, by Skype. That's true. You know, it, you don't have to be in person for these changes to happen because there is no time and space. That's true. It's just an that's illusion. <laughs> so... And, and for people who would like to find you, where could they find you on? Uh, how about my website? Right. So three W's, and then it's trance, as in hypnotic trance, okay. transformu.com. Okay, and you are based in? Stewart, Florida. Okay, and I'll have that information available on the comment right below. <laughs> You're watching this on YouTube <laughs> Wonderful. Right and uh, thank you for coming. Thank Elizabeth you so Campbell. much. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. Elizabeth Campbell, everybody. And uh, this is... For this Bernie's exposition, join us again next week, CCTV, Channel 9, Cambridge.